Hi, everyone. In this video, I am going to walk you through some of the terminology you might see related to how companies kind of classify their stock when you're looking at the stockholders' equity section of their balance sheet. So here I list out um, five terms, basically. A corporation stock may be, and you might see them referred to as any of these five ways. And, and I have them in this particular order for a reason. I'll start with authorized. Um, authorized stock simply means that um, the stock has been approved for issuance. Now, usually this is by the corporate charter or corporate bylaws. Um, something will establish when, when you are um, um, first creating a corporation and it'll say, we authorize this many shares to be issued to investors. Notice they're just approved to be issued. They haven't actually been issued. There's nothing that forces the company to issue them. It's basically just the pool that the company can pull from to issue ownership um, through outside investors. All right, next up we have issued. This means that the stock has been sold to an investor. Now, I do want to point out here that um, the stock does not still need to be in the hands of investors. To be issued, it simply means that you took some of that authorized stock and at some point, you sold it to an investor, even if that investor doesn't have it anymore. That's what it means to be issued. Next up, we have outstanding. Outstanding means the issued stock is still held by investors. Now, you may be saying, well, wait a minute. If you issued it, which means you sold it to an investor, and outstanding means it's still held by an investor. Well, what's, what else can there be other than the investors still have it? And that brings us to our next one, what's called repurchased or more formally known as treasury stock. And that is issued stock that has been bought back by the company. So you can kind of see the flow here. First, you authorize stock for issuance. Then you issue some portion of it. Then of the portion issued, some of that is still held by investors, known as outstanding. Some of it may be held by the company, known as treasury. And then finally, there's the step of the end of stock life cycle, which um, it, it's, it's not a common day-to-day -day transaction, but it is common in situations of, say, like mergers or restructurings, things like that. And that's what's known as retired or canceled stock. And this is where previously issued stock is permanently, permanent, whoop, swap my T and L there, permanently removed from the market. So the reason you see this more often with, say, like a um, like a, a merger or restructuring situation than with, say, a um, a day-to-day a, a, a -day transaction situation is because um, it doesn't really serve the company any interest to permanently remove stock from the market. If they want to move, remove some stock from the market, they can do this step. They can they can they can repurchase it. They can make treasury stock out of it, right? And they can just keep it in the company. But there's no point in them destroying it just willy-nilly unless it's a situation where, say, um, you were company B and you got bought by company A, and so now all of company B's stock is um, uh, null and void. It's going to get converted into company A stock. That'd be a situation where you would actually retire or cancel. So so that's more of a specialty case, and it's and it's uh, often seen in, in situations like, like murders. Um, just a few notes here. Stock is typically issued and traded on a stock exchange, like in America, the NYSE and the NASDAQ would be your most popular. And a corporation may use um, like a brokerage firm to issue the stock on their behalf, or they may just issue it directly to investors, right? So all of this is part of the, the issuance piece or even the ultimate repurchase piece. 
Um, but know that this this is kind of the, the life cycle of the stock that you see here. Um, and, and know that, that you might see any of these terms when looking at, say, a stockholder's equity section of um, a balance sheet. All right, that's it for introducing you to kind of stock terminology of how stock is classified. Hope you found this helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.